Recently, one of my friends asked me if I could come by his house to check on a switch that he's having trouble with. Thought I'd share it with you. First of all, the right tool makes or breaks the job, and you can't trust inexpensive testers. I'll share with you in this short video why the tools, some of them which I've used for more than 30 years, are simple and make the job so much easier. Two tools that I use that Klein makes that I've used regularly. You see in the slide that I have up here, on the right is a volt ticker, a voltage tester. I've used that for many years. And then on the left is a circuit finder, so you can de-energize the circuit. I love Klein tools. They've been making tools since 1857. They're made in the USA. You can rely on them. And as I said in the short video, I think that you'll see how a Klein tester is so much more accurate than one that would be less expensive. In the slide that I have up here, I have the volt tick up. It easily finds hots, it finds uh, switch legs. If you have a, a junction box that you're into and you want to specifically identify a hot or a switch leg, it's very easy to find and it's very accurate. This is a very accurate, simple tool. So in the video here, I'm testing the switch that was giving trouble and you can see that I have the switch off now and I'm getting voltage on the bottom terminal. So obviously there's a problem. With the new switch connected, we should only receive a measurement when we're touching the hot at the top but when we touch the bottom terminal the orange terminal we're not going to get a voltage measurement now my friend had a cheaper tester i'm not going to name the name of the tester but i just wanted to show how inaccurate those are so now this is the new switch and you can see i'm touching the hot terminal and the switch leg terminal so that again the red is the hot orange is the switch leg and no matter where i have the tester it's showing me that there's voltage the other tool i use a lot is the circuit finder this is tool is simple to use it's very accurate and it helps you find the breaker so you can turn the breaker off and de-energize the circuit. And this tool has a tester. You just plug the tester in and then you just place it on the breakers like I'm doing here and you slowly move the tester down, sliding it across the breakers and you're gonna find that it'll start making a solid ticking noise and it'll turn red when it finds the breaker of the circuit that you're trying to identify. And then obviously you just go and verify that your plug tester is now off. So the plug tester is part of this tool, but it also can be used individually as, as a plug tester. So these are solid tools that I use, and I only recommend tools that I actually use and that actually work, and these do work. But I'll leave the links in the information so you can easily get these tools. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Also, you can go to my website, buildingcodegeek.com.